beginning of the symposium on Friday night, we're going to kick it off with an incredible gala. Like people oh, are going to be good. moving and shaking and like there's going to be music. There's going to be teachings from our elders. Okay. Um, and yeah, we're really shaking it up and also setting the tone. So we definitely, fun is important. <laughs> One of the presenters, Michelle Meehan and Reet May, they're going to be doing art in the soul collage. Okay. Um, Valerie, she's bringing in movement and dance as part of uh, grief. It's going to be like moving oh, prayer. Wow. Um, help through healing. And uh, there's going to be, you know, the, the first the first day is really about building trust as a, as a community of leaders. So, and then we're going to be moving into some deeper work on Sunday. So we know that in order to build trust, we need to have some fun. Mm -hmm. We need to meet each other. We mm -hmm. need to, like, we need to do some shedding, you know, like get rid of some of the pretense and really get into the heart and the intention of why we're all here. And... One of the focuses will be, one of the principles we'll be working on is um, offering as our sacred responsibility. So the idea that, um, that we have a responsibility to make offerings to the earth. Mm -hmm. We have responsibility to make offerings to each other. Mm -hmm. We have responsibility to make offerings to ourselves. I mean, taking care of ourselves, yeah. that can be an offering. So, I mean, we're looking at offering on lots of different levels. Okay. And for this, uh, for this workshop though, we're going to be doing a beautiful and very fun uh, ritual that uh, we'll be building something as a collective, as a group together, and then it'll be, I won't tell you what it is yet. <laughs> Great. It'll be a surprise. What I'll probably do is do kind of an overview of the terrain that I've been sort of wandering about in in the last five, six years, I guess, holding men's circles. And I mean, it all started with my own work and probably delving into the archetypes, the four major masculine archety archetypes, which are king, warrior, magician, lover. Mm -hmm. And Robert Moore and Douglas Gillette wrote this book in the 80s that literally spawned. It. Oh, it's my amazing. It spawned, it spawned a global men's movement. Mm -hmm. Like millions of people, millions of men all over the world have been working with those those texts and that remarkably changed my life and so I'll probably be doing an overview of that and okay. just getting a people a sense of why the archetypes why Carl Jung was just so enthralled by them and mm -hmm. and again just dovetailing with the first question I mean the archetypes do connect you with a very ancient wisdom because the archetypes are what the tarot deck is from you see the symbology in all the great mythological stories of our ancestors this idea the human consciousness kind of like passes through a crystal and then becomes these rays of specific symbolic forms like the king, the queen, the warrior, the mission, magician, the lover. And when you start to realize that and look at your own life, you can start to see where your own categories are and it provides you with this beautiful map. So I'll be just talking about that map and then I love to storytell and, and speak from personal experience and be kind of vulnerable with my own wounds and such mm -hmm. because I think that pulls people in to realize um, yeah how, how profound and important the work is as well. How can I mm -hmm. And what's special about this wave in particular is we'll have live music. Okay. So Zach creates the landscape for us to journey on mm -hmm. with drums and ditch and the hong instrument and sometimes a flute and lots of vocals. And you said that you were going to maybe pick like a body part for the different rhythms? Is that Yeah, a... each of the rhythms um, is moves through the body. So we work up from the feet so that we ground ourselves so that we can release. Because mm -hmm. essentially the practice is to get to a place where we're grounded enough, we're connected enough that then we can then release what needs to be released. We can um, have this experience of alchemy. Wow. and shape-shifting and transformation within our body and our cells and our being. That's amazing. Here at High Park with Melanie Besa Olenberg, we are uh, talking symposium. Hey. 
<laughs> Thanks, Maria.